Hello everybody, I'm back, Sparkle Kiss. I am Paparazzi Independent Consultant 69242, Blanche is my name, and I'm with you today to show you how to create uh, an invoice using Square. Now I know that some paparazzi consultants prefer to take their payments through PayPal. Um, many like myself use Square, um, and there may be other options out there that others are using, but I know that Square and PayPal tend to be the most commonly ones used. Um, I have been using Square for approximately two years. I absolutely love it um, over all the others, but again, to each his own, whichever one that you feel comfortable in uh, wanting to use, please do so. I am going to show you how you actually go through the process of creating an invoice through Square. I personally have recently, uh, within the last few months, converted over to an automated system known as Comment Sold. I do have a separate YouTube video on that to show you how that works. So I no longer actually um, invoice through Square unless it's a, a special you know, case type of situation or something going on, but 99% of my um, um, invoicing, as you say, as we would say, is done through um, my automated system through comments sold, okay? So what I wanna do is I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you and just show you a little bit about how that works and how it goes, okay? So what we're going to do is get this moved out of the way here. <laughs> All right, I'm already logged into my Square dashboard, okay? So that's the first thing you wanna do. You wanna make sure that you go ahead and that you um, already have a Square account set up. If you haven't already done one, I will make sure to drop the um, referral link at the bottom so that way you can create a free brand new account um, if you've never ever signed up with Square before, which will give you $1,000 in free processing. It also gives me $1,000 in free processing. And this is also an amazing feature that I love about Square is that I do not have to pay processing fees. You don't either. All you have to do is continue to um, send out your referral link to um, whomever, you know, whether they run a business, friends, family, what have you, to help you with that team members, if you're adding new um, team members to your team, of course, and never you literally never pay processing, right? As long as you're referring someone, you never pay, never pay that processing. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is, once you're logged in, you're going to go to invoices, okay? So when you click on invoices, this is gonna be like a quick step-by-step, -step, you're gonna hit create invoice, okay? and it's pulling up the information to create our invoice. All right, so um, what happened for me, of course, because before I switched over to Comment Sold, I already had um, lots of customers that shop with me and that I would send invoices to. I would spend hours sending invoices, right? So it already has a list of my customers really already in the system once I start typing a name. So let's just say, um, and look, here it is, right? That pops up with names and email addresses, okay? So you can literally type in the name or you can start to type in the email address. If they've never shopped with you before, it'll be brand new. If they have, then it'll automatically start to populate, auto-populate that information, okay? Um, then right here, if you wanna give it a title, give it a title. I like to give it a title, uh, whether it was the day that I sent out an invoice or if it was you know, uh, a life of the party order, if it was a fashion fix order or something like that that I do. Um, that way it just kinda keeps me a little bit organized and on track. Um, the invoice ID will pop, auto-populate for you every time you send out a new one or if you have a certain like system of numbers that you wanna use, that's totally fine, up to you. Okay, this right here, the message part is gonna be under your account and settings for you can, so that you can go in and you can type whatever message you want to show up um, when your invoice is sent to your customer. This is um, some information that I have typed up here to you know, basically say thank you, to let them know how they can sign up for my free text reminder. That way they're, they're sent out a text message right before I go live so they never miss a live show, right? Um, also, if they want to, you know, sign up for the discount and get their joy for 275, or if they want to actually sign up to be able to work their business and um, how they would go about doing that, my website there um, as well, where they can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, you know, things like that. So you can just have your message say whatever it is that you wanted to say. Um, but again, I have 
you know, converted over to a different system. So um, this is not really one that I use as much, but this is absolutely amazing tool if you are um, needing to send invoices out through Square, okay? All right, so it's gonna ask you, how do you wanna send your invoice? By default, it'll say email, of course. Um, frequency is also by default one time, send it immediately. This right here, due date, you can leave it if you want the, you know, the payment to be due on today's date, or if you need to change it, let's just say, um, you know, some people uh, accept payments within like 48 hour time frame. Um, for me, I always do, um, well, I used to do a 24 hour time frame. And so anyway, you can select whatever date it is on here that you need to um, set up for your payment, right? Okay, now this part that says line items is totally up to you. Again, I'm a little bit um, specific in how I organize, to stay organized. Um, so in the past, uh, I already had, if you've already watched my um, YouTube on creating a square up store, you'll see I already have like some items already in there because of my store that I was creating. Or also, um, if I recently typed in the name of the item, then it would show up, right? So I can type in, you know, uh, these um, earrings actually that I just showed on a live <laughs> with my comments sold, or these earrings right here, for example. But you can just type in whatever you want to call it. Some people like to call it, you know, just what it is. Uh, brown earrings or what have you or some people just like to say two items three items you can do it however you want it just depends on you know your preference and how specific you are in your ordering again I prefer with with my um, business to actually put the name of the item you know paparazzi always sends us the names on um, on the item that comes in the bag along with the barcode and the SKU number. You can also go to your complete order history and get the name that way as well, okay? So whatever you wanna do, for me, this always helped me keep stay pretty organized because that way I knew exactly what I was selling to my customers. You know, I had tried it once before to put like, you know, uh, two pieces, three pieces or this, that or the other, but I would, I would not know what exactly I was selling to my customers. So again, this is something that I like to use by actually typing in the name. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna do these brown wooden earrings here. I'm gonna do those. I'm gonna put those here and pretend as if we're sending an invoice. These are called Coachella Chill. These are really pretty too. All right, and then I also, just like in how I do all of my um, organization, everything is by color. So they're gonna say Coachella Chill brown earrings. Okay, now also you want to be able to um, put whatever your shipping charge is, okay? So I always call my flat rate shipping because I have a flat rate shipping fee of $4. Um, no matter how many pieces my customers decide to purchase from me. So as you can see, it was already, that was already pre, um, you know, loaded into the system because I used to type that one a lot. Okay, you can change the quantity for how many ever of those, you know, particular pair of that item that you need to put in there. Um, when you go to customize here, this allows you to be able to um, click if you want to apply sales tax to the information. Again, this is something that you have already set up when you when you set it, when you set your score up to the in the beginning of you know any sales tax that you may want to charge. Um, for me, mine is right here. And because this is a shipping or flat rate shipping, I'm not going to charge sales tax on the shipping. And so I just uncheck that button. Otherwise, I would charge sales tax on the item, okay? And then you just base, very basically um, go in here and put the $5 price tag, because what, 99% of our items are $5 plus tax, lead and nickel free. So you just put that in there. Let's just say, that particular pair of earrings, someone wanted to buy five pair of those from me, okay? When they get the five pair, look at this. It'll automatically change the total here for me, okay? It'll update the total for me, so I don't have to do anything with that. Only thing you have to do is just put the quantity and just put the price, and that's it, okay? And then if for some reason I need to go back, and let's just say it was really only one pair, maybe I made a mistake, I hit the wrong button or something, then of course it will go back and it will change it for me, okay? And then the same thing here with your shipping, whatever it is you charge for your shipping, again, I do $4 flat rate, then that will just go there, okay? So 
When you're done with that part right there, um, it will show you your subtotal right here. It'll show you any sales tax, and then of course your complete total right there. Now Square has this new option where you can request a deposit. Um, it's totally up to you if you want to use this feature, but basically you can either request a percentage or you can request a exact dollar amount, um, and then you can also put when you want it due. Okay, uh, I don't use that, or I should say I didn't use that feature before, but if for some reason you need to for your business, then it's available. Okay, now if you want, you can check these options. Again, these are not required, just something that you may um, like or may not like to use where you can schedule payment reminders for the invoice, or you can request a shipping address. Uh, me personally, I use a site called uh, postable.com, which is an online address book. And that way, um, all my addresses for my customers can be found there so I can easily pull it up, copy and paste anything that I need to. Also with my comment soul store, then their um, addresses are in there. So my Postable now has actually become a backup system for my customers' um, addresses and emails, right? But long story short, you can click that if you want to. Um, you can also click this right here, allow customer to add a tip. You'll be surprised. Sometimes your customers will add a tip, you know? And then this right here, this button, you can click this if you want to allow your customer to save your card on file. Okay, always remember that Square is a safe and secure um, platform to accept payments through. It is a legitimate company. Um, you will only ever see the, the last four digits of any card. There, it does not, the system does not save anything uh, for you to see a person's credit card information. So if you ever have that, you know, asked of you by your customers, then you, you will just, you know, be reminding them that, uh, you don't have access to their information. The only thing you can see is literally the last four digits. So it's very safe and very secure. Okay. Now, the last thing that I want to say about sending a square invoice is you can add attachments. And this is something, um, it's a little bit of an extra step. This is something that I used to like to do. You don't have to do this, but um, it allows you to add pictures. Okay. So because when I place my orders through paparazzi, I always download um, everything into a folder, okay? And I do it by the, the month, whatever month we are in. And then I'll, that folder will have every day that I order, right? So that way, if I need to put in, um, let's just say, well, here, we'll open up this folder from January, okay? And let's just say they, that my customer purchased this black bracelet, I can just click on there. Or if I need to search, if I need to search the item, right? Like I want to search those earrings. Let's see if I put them into the system here yet, or if I downloaded my order. Coachella. Okay, I haven't downloaded this order yet. So <laughs> we'll pick the um, romance remix, that black um, bracelet that I just showed you there. Okay. So that way, if you need, you know, you can search it in the name or what have you. But again, this is a this is optional. Um, it's just a preference that I used to like when I would have to send invoices to my customers because again, that way I knew exactly what it was that I sold to them, and you know, if I needed to ever pull back pull that back up for whatever reason. Okay. So then after you do that, then you literally just hit the send the send button. Okay, again, you got to make sure you have a name and an address right here, and then you hit send. Okay, or let's just say you know you get a phone call, you have to step away, then you can save it as a draft. You can also preview the invoice, but um, either way it goes, it will send it directly to that customer's email address. Okay, now you can also take this a step further. This is something that I started doing a little bit later on into my business before I switched over to Comment Soul. And what I would do is I would go once I had sent the invoice from here, then I would go to my messenger on my phone and I would pull up my Square app and then I would go to that customer's invoice. I would scroll down uh, to like, I believe it says more, if I'm not mistaken, as a matter of fact, let me pull it up here real quick and I'll tell you exactly what it says. So bear with me as I'm pulling this up really quickly here. I'm just opening up my Square app Okay, and then I would go to invoices on right here, and then I will pull up a customer's invoice. 
And then when you scroll down to Oh, well, all my invoices, have, of course, have been paid because I don't use it anymore. Okay, well, I was going to try to show you <laughs> that. But the point is you scroll down to like the bottom and it will say like more. And when you click on it, it will allow, it will give you the option to be able to send it to either their, literally directly to their messenger, or you can send it directly to their um their text if you have their number. So I just like that too, because sometimes, um, you know, people forget to check their emails or sometimes they check their emails, um, you know, a little bit later on down the line. And maybe, you know, you have a 24 hour policy where your, your um, invoices need to be paid within 24 hours. So that's just a way for them to be able to see it right away um, as a quick little reminder to them. Okay, so um, that's it for creating a square voice. It's a square invoice is a very simple process. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments. Please make sure that you are subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you like, follow me on Facebook at Sparkle Kiss LLC. You can also follow me on Instagram at Sparkle Kiss LLC. You may also join my uh, VIP on Facebook to get first dibs on all your items at Sparkle Kiss. Sparkle Kiss Bling VIP. And again, if you're interested in checking out my comment sold store um, to see how that works and why I converted over to that from the Square Invoices, then feel free to pull up that YouTube video. Um, I'll drop the link also in the bottom. And remember, never pay processing fees again with Square, okay? Never pay processing fees. Always um, click that referral link, whether it's mine or somewhere else's. If you have never created a Square account before, it does have to be um, a new account where you've never created one before to make sure that you get, do get that $1,000 in free processing. And uh, let's just say, you know, maybe one of your teammates joins you and they sign up in, in your in uh, paparazzi and start their own paparazzi business, make sure you're giving them your referral link. So that way you get a thousand dollars and they get a thousand dollars. And that process just continue on, on and on. And you never end up paying processing fees um, like some of the other companies will charge you for. Okay. So thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. I hope that you all enjoyed this, um, this YouTube and be on the lookout for more as I make more for you. Thank you.